Welcome to iLecture Online. To get another idea of what the JE advanced test is all about, they definitely don't want any cheating going on. Of course, there's a big desire to do as well as you possibly can, and any small advantage you might be able to get by sneaking something in that might give you some help, well, it's simply not allowed on the test. And they do a very good job checking at the door before you're allowed in to make sure you don't bring in any of these items. So let's take a look at what some of these items are. You're not to bring in a cap, like a baseball cap. You're not allowed a belt. You're not allowed to bring in a ruler or a scale. You're not allowed to bring in a camera or a phone, not even a calculator. You're not allowed to bring in a pager, earphones, microphones, smart watches, not even a brooch. You're not allowed a pen or thumb drives. You're not allowed creams, lip balms, hair bands, paper clips, iPods, tablet, sunglasses, no notes of any sort, not even any paper bits. Your pockets have to be empty when you walk in. No blank paper, no study material, no shoes, only sandals allowed. No pendants, log tables, or abacus. If you get to be good at abacus, you can't bring that in either. Held bands, tables, like multiplication tables, water bottles, soft drinks, purses, wallets, debit cards, ATM cards, none of those are allowed. <laughs> okay, guys, that's enough. Uh, that's enough. Okay. But recently, they've added something to the list that is now actually allowed where it wasn't allowed before. You're now allowed to bring in an analog watch. I suppose they allow you to take a look at your watch and keep track of the time to see how much time you have left on the test but definitely no digital or smart watches which may have the ability to bring up information you're not supposed to have. It all has to be up here and nowhere else. Not in the pockets, not underneath the cap, not underneath your belt, nowhere else, just what's in here that you bring into the test. And that's interesting how they really want you to be completely devoid of any material that might give you any sort of help along on that test because it's a difficult test and they want to see how much you actually know. And that is all about the JE Advanced Test, which we're going to take a look, closer look at and learn how to prep, learn how to take the test, learn how to solve the problems, and learn the techniques to solve problems on the test in general. Because if you do the JE Advanced Test, you can do any test. And that's what it's all about. So stay tuned, and we'll show you how to do that.